this meeting. Gail says she's going to be able to post it to our Lodge's Facebook page um, so that we can, uh, people who aren't, pardon? The cloud. Because I'm not going to have enough room on my computer to record things. Um, and I'm going to do... So I'm not sure how engaging this is going to be on Facebook for to watch as a recording, but at least it's going to be available for, and I do know we heard from um, our, rec our recording secretary who was not able to be here this morning, and so she will watch the recording. Maybe, um, maybe we could just all, let's see, this is my teacher mode, huh? Yeah, just all retired for quite a while, but. I think it would be nice for everybody to see each other's faces when we're talking, even though we're in a small group. So I don't know if there's a way we can like turn part way around or something. And then maybe I was late, so I don't know, but may, it might be a good idea if everybody just say your first name anyway, go around so we know mm -hmm. people. The next time we'll have name tags. And Astrid, have you introduced yourself at all? No. I mean, uh, most of us know you, of course, but Astrid's okay. going to be leading us in the class here. And I'm I'm Gail Hadley. I'm the current uh, lodge president. This is about the first year I've actually been an in-person lodge president. <laughs> it's a, a face on Zoom, which faded in now sometimes. So, so we, we're starting a new era again of meeting in person, which is really good. So, okay. So why don't we just go around? Kurt, you want to start? Say your name again. Oh, <laughs> Kurt. It's actually Curtis. Oh, Curtis. But. Yeah, Kurt. Um, and we, for Karen's information, we have a, a Curtis. I'm a Curtis, but we have a Curtis, another lodge member. He likes Curtis. I like Kurt. Okay. And everybody did figure it out it's Curtis and Kurt. So that way we don't have a Curtis C and a Curtis O. Ben in grade school. Curtis <laughs> And, and the last thing is Osborne, which is live from uh, Ose Bjorn. Oh, what is Ose mean? Ose is holy. Well, is Bjorn bear? Holy bear. Interesting. Oh, I have a new vision of you. <laughs> um, we're just doing introductions. We have a sign in seat there. Are you a lodge member? My husband did. Wonderful. Well, we're glad to have you. Is this Ruth? Ruth. Good Ruth. 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 How, how is the bank? Thanks, Lou Ben. Thanks for watching. Ruth, well, we're getting some people from Hell Creek. Nice. Mr. Carter, though. Makes it a little bit more accessible for some people. I think. We're just, we just started by introducing each other. So, Kurt Osborne just told us that his Osborne is from. Ospian, 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 Okay, so we got yeah, an urgent teacher and oh you are? I am, yes. Oh I, I'm gonna come from you then. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for saying that. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm Bob Swanson. Well, my my mother was uh, basically Norwegian descent. My father was Swedish descent. So He's the product of a mixed marriage. <laughs> and I'm, oh, I'm sorry. You walked your tail away. Yes. Oh, you used to spend a lot of time with you. Oh, oh gosh. We'll have to talk later. <laughs> uh, I'm Lori Swanson, and I'm not Norwegian or Swedish. But I had the good sense to marry somebody who was. <laughs> I'm Elizabeth Kratz. I'm the cultural director for the lodge. And I am 
learning how to speak Norwegian. I have been, I speak German. I've been told it's really easy if you already speak German. Whoever says that is making it up because I do not find it easy at all. <laughs> I, I can barely get past hi and va had to do. <laughs> I'm Ruth Hatlevat, and my husband is Norwegian, Sons of Norway member, and I make all the cards for Sons of Norway. Thank you. And um, I've been interested in learning a little Norwegian. I've tried a little bit. Um, when we took our trip there, before we went, I learned some of the words for you know, brother, sister, uncle, cousin, mm -hmm. because we wanted to, we wanted to share pictures back and forth. And so, but, you know, it's been a while, I've forgotten. If you don't use it, you lose it. <laughs> and that's reminding me, I brought, do you want to take a handout and then, oh, I think you've got one already? Yeah, one of those. I just, I made a, a printout from a page that I, of our newsletter, the, um, website Seti Gang is free and it's got really wonderful resources for helping with self-study. I know Astrid's son is using Babel. Yeah. Um, I use Duolingo. There's resources on the Sons of Norway page website. So there's lots of just find what works for you to help support. And wonderful Astrid made photocopies for all of us. Fantastic. So. Yeah, and you can um, study a little bit on your own, you know. And we also, before you came in, we decided that we're going to at least to start, try to meet on the Wednesday after the lodge meeting each month. Right. And so it's going to be a little bit earlier next month. It'll be on April 5th here at 1030. So. Well, my husband's having some serious eye surgery uh -huh. coming up. And so I probably won't be able to attend in person, but I can be online. Well, and we're recording it. And so we'll, um, uh, one of our officers said that she'd be able to put it on our Logic Facebook page. Super. So, although I don't know how exciting it's going to be not in person. <laughs> well, if you keep working at it. And I did, I did sign up for a month of Babel. And quite frankly, I've not found it easy. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's easy, right? No, no. no. Oh, no. I prefer Duolingo. It's just finding what fits with kind of your personality and style. Well, and next time I hope to introduce you to my son because he's using Babel too. And he actually likes it. But he was just in the beginning too, he was a little hesitant. But now he, uh, so maybe the two of you could talk. Yeah. Well, I haven't gotten very far. It's okay. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. My name's Joanna Stello Phelps. My mom, Jean Willinger, was a lodge member for a number of years. She's the one that just passed away a month ago. And I saw this and she used to be my resource. So I thought I'd learn. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. She's going to go to my car. She's Du kan snakke norsk. I grunn er ikke. Du forstår kanskje bedre om du kan snakke. Basically, I just basically said I speak Norwegian a little bit, but very badly. Very. Okay, Dad. Because you were an exchange student with you for understanding. Yeah, I did. I understood too. My name is Karen or Karen. Thank God. Um, but yeah, so I was an exchange student. I went to Marshall High School, graduated mm -hmm. from Marshall High School. Um, I don't honestly think I have any Scandinavian, but Lord knows our family. I there's Irish and German and English, and I'm a kind of fifty seven. And Sons of Norway is open to everybody who's interested in Norwegian <laughs> heritage. You don't have to be your Norwegian. No, it's Scottish. <laughs> but I um I was an exchange student and how that started was actually kind of funny because my mom actually bought a couch at Ethan Allen. Mm -hmm. I know this sounds weird. And she wound up this way back in the 80s. And she wound up by buying that couch to go on a cruise ship. Oh my gosh. Which was uh 
one of the Norwegian cruise ships, I can't remember what, but we went to Bermuda and our captain was from Oslo huh? and a lot of the crew was Norwegian. So I actually was, you know, wound up speaking with all of them and came back and uh, one of the Youth for Understanding um, coordinators lived here in Marshall. Um, her husband was Sue Bowen. Yes. Yeah. Well, actually, it was before Sue, it was Mrs. Burris, but Sue was starting at mm -hmm. the time. And um, I, myself and a few other people went just for the summertime to different locations. And I chose Norway because of the and, and getting to know them. And uh, we, we started, he asked me where I was at. And I, when I first wound up getting there, uh, it took a little bit because this is back in the 80s when there were different bomb threats. And we actually were stuck in New York for a little bit of time, uh, over 24 hours, by the way, mm -hmm. in an airport as teenagers. Oh, that's it was kind of interesting. And we finally wound up getting over um, to Norway because we had to wait for a different plane. Our plane was the one that was threatened and here's a bunch of high school oh kids. Oh and, but we were fine. We wound up getting over um, and all the families, it was, 24 hours later, so I was stuck, <laughs> and my family didn't show up to pick me up in Oslo, so I was thrown at no, no language crap oh whatsoever, because I was only there for the summer, and I was thrown on a train, and they basically said, just get to the end of the train, and then get off. Oh my gosh. <laughs> as far as it goes. That's as far as it goes, and I was in, um, I was in Oslo to start, and this was going towards Sweden, and you're definitely right. <laughs> you're definitely right that you know the, the Norwegians and the Swedish and the, the Danes are like, oh no, they're not us. Um, but I wound up getting off the train, no family <gasps> picked me up, and there was a beautiful young gal that I just grasped a hold of, and because I had no money to even yeah. use pay phone, pay phone. Yeah. And uh, what, what year was this? 86. 86. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, but she wound up, she and her boyfriend, she was waiting for her boyfriend. She had uh, worked in Oslo and, and would come home each night on the train. And she and her boyfriend actually drove me to Michael's family's house. I didn't stay there long, long story short. I did not stay there long, but I wound up going back to the main Youth for Understanding location and they placed me in a house uh, in a suburb of Oslo. And ironically, the family that I stayed with the year before, they had an Australian host uh, son um, that wasn't there at the time and we looked identical. Oh. And everybody assumed I was his sister. Oh my god! And I'm like, no, I'm American. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> wow, that was a nightmare host situation was, to oh, go into. Bad. It was bad. Mine wasn't as bad as the other gals that I um, that went to Mexico that year. She actually got locked in her like bar bars over windows and locked in her family. But different story. Yeah. Um, and not youth for understanding is good. You know, don't get me wrong but uh, wound up staying there for the summertime and absolutely loved it and wanted to extend, but was like, ah, I can't do that. So, I, but I'm still friends to this day with my, uh, specifically my host mother, Mona, and my host sister, Ina, my uh, host father and mother got divorced. And oddly enough, I was still kind of felt that, but he was Swedish. <laughs> I have to ask, how did you find out about this group? The post, well, I knew about when I came back, of course, I was different people that went to different places. They wound up saying, oh, you're you're crazy about Norway now. So I always had them. And I've known about Sons of Norway, but didn't know that there was a lot this close. Uh -huh. I actually, I a different long story short, I just wound up leaving one job and of course I'm searching for another and I came here yesterday because I have no internet at my house, saw your oh. poster oh. and just kind of, it, it kind of 
you know, to jump out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So good. Well, I'm we're glad that you made it. We're glad that your mom bought an Ethan Allen couch. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Uh, it had lots of consequences. Exactly. So I'm, oh, I'm, oh, I'm sorry. Gail. Hadley, and we're really glad that we've got a bunch of us here. Today. We have one person on Zoom. And oh yeah, so could we? On. Would you be able to introduce yourself to the group? You can maybe make a picture. Well, it's there's no picture. It's just a, uh, and you're muted. If yeah, that's the one. It may have, yeah. It's um, James Benson. Okay. Maybe he stepped away for a minute. So, okay. No, I'm here. Oh, you're here. We'd love to hear from you. I, I, a thing popped up where I could unmute myself. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know I was muted, but it might be better off. Um, yeah. So I'm, I go by Jim Benson, uh, Eldafire and Mean, Heather Bjornsson. Um, uh, you guys keep talking about all kinds of things. I don't know what I should talk about. <laughs> Are you a member of the Oscar Laden Lodge or another lodge? I, I, I was once. It's been quite a while. I believe my parents were, uh, which would have been even longer ago. Um, but I, I had come down to Kalamazoo for a meeting at some point. Uh, well, we're really uh, happy to have you. How did you find out about this group? I still get your newsletters. Oh, good. Okay. Wonderful. And I saw it in there. I uh, what was I going to say? That's part of my problem is I can't remember any. I started trying to learn Norwegian as a brain exercise, and then I thought, well, maybe uh, maybe I'll pick something else too. So I started doing. Portuguese as well. Oh, uh, continental or Brazilian Portuguese? I think it was mostly Brazilian. It wasn't specified, but the That's comments so were in there. Uh, the <laughs> comments would Brazil? go back and forth, and some sometimes somebody would say, "Well, in Brazil we say it this way," and somebody else would say, "Well, in Europe we say it this way." Uh, but uh, I. And that kind of fell by the wayside. I'm just sticking with Norwegian right now. Well, that's a good one to stick with. Do you go by James or by Jim? Jim is fine. Jim, okay. And where do you live, Jim? Oh, where do uh, you? You keep cutting out. Oh, I'm sorry. Where do you live? What town do you live in? You cut out again. I don't what, you undermine. What What town do you live in? Rockford. In Rockford? Oh, nice. uh, up north of Grand Rapids okay. a little bit. All right. Well, I'm glad we have the Zoom. That makes it easier for you to join us. Yeah, it does. I'm hoping you can help me learn better. Okay. <laughs> but my brain is shot, so I don't know. It's quite a task. Okay. All right. Astrid, do you want to introduce yourself? Okay. Um, yeah, I'm Mid Nona, <clears throat> Nona Ostri. Um, I wanted us to uh, to learn a couple of easy phrases, and one of them, of course, is important. Is uh, what is you know the, 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 uh, that's the only thing about um, Norwegian and um, and 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 English is that sometimes um, you know like we in English we said my name is Ostri, but in Norwegian. It's a little bit different. Yeah, I hear it. My name is. They don't, uh, that doesn't actually translate over. You, you see what I'm saying? My, um, so um, there's a few things that you, you'll pick up that are different. Other, otherwise, it's pretty easy. So um, I wanted to say, uh, first of all, this lady right there, this is my grandmother, and this is why I'm here. When she passed away, she left me enough money. She knew how much I loved um, to learn, um, you know, new things. And she left me money and she said, and she told me, Astrid, I want you to use this money for anything you want. And um, I was uh, 12 years old when she passed away. And I told my mom, I'm going to America. 
and I did. Yeah. So I came when I was 18. Um, I went to, uh, I was a foreign exchange student. And um, I, um, it was, a, it was a, a university that my mom had hooked me up with because she did ancestry research for the Mormon church. And so she, I had to have a sponsor and we did not really have connection with the family here. Uh, and, and later on, my mom and dad actually did go and we, they, took, they would take the Greyhound bus up to Wisconsin from New York and visit family. And then they, of course, would come to California where I lived with my, with my husband and my kids. So um, anyway, I'm gonna stop talking about mm -hmm. myself. Yeah, so that what I wanted was to uh, to not feel um, uncomfortable asking questions. You know, ask me anything. It doesn't have to do with the lesson or anything. It's just um, I just want you to 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 um, feel that you're learning something because that's why we're here. You know, and um, I um. I'm very fortunate this uh, this summer, I'm bringing my, uh, I have twin daughters and five of my grandkids. We're going to Norway. Uh -huh. Yeah, Ooh, yep. yeah. They, my daughters and my two sons, I have two daughters and two sons. When, uh, when I was, um, I, I was fortunate, both my husband and I worked for the airlines. So every summer we would go to see my mom and dad. But my grandkids, these five grandkids have never been to Norway. Mm. Oh. Shell Christian, my oldest son, his two daughters have been to Norway three times. And they, uh, I, I can, uh, like you said, you were but they could be fine. They could be seriously. That's the wonderful thing about Norway. They speak English now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Except my husband's family. They do not. Oh, yeah, God. you know, well, later on, uh, I'm not going to bother you with that today, but later on, if you, if you tell me um, as, as much as you can, like, like your name, and if you have any information about, um, about your family, and you really want to know a little bit more about your family, I belong to both the Norwegian group Heritage, and I belong to Ancestry.com, so I can find anything you want, it, I'm serious. In fact, I even um, both uh, Eric and I we have done our DNA and we got family everywhere, you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and this was a little bit sad. I don't want you guys to be hard on the Swedes anymore. Please, don't. <laughs> yeah. no, no, they, you, uh, you know, I think it got off the wrong way, you know, during the war, you know, because it was the king, it wasn't the people. And so here we are blaming the whole nation for what he did, you know. And our own uh, Crown Princess Amata, she was the one who went to America and got the support. She even got Franklin uh, Roosevelt to give us a warship, you know. I mean, how brave is that? And she traveled around and got the support that we needed. Yeah. So, you know, I, uh, I'm very, very proud of the Swedes. I am, and both, uh, and I didn't even know that till my mom started telling me. She said, Astrid, um, you're um, uh, on both my side, on both my, um, my mother's side and my dad's side, just a couple of generations, you come to Sweden because we were going back and forth. You know, that's the way it was. Just like here in America, each state, you travel around, you know? So anyway, I'll stop talking about <laughs> that. <laughs> okay, so anyway, I told you about, um, her name was Anna Caroline Carlson. Yeah. And Carlson, of course, Carlson is very Swedish. And that is because her, um, her family, you know, on the, I think three, three generations back, it was, uh, he walked, he walked, from his little town in Sweden over to Norway to get a job. But it was hard times. Yeah. So anyway. Yeah. I'm thinking we just did introductions. Maybe we can take what you just taught us. Okay. And we can go around the room yeah. and I can say, Jai Heter Elizabeth. Yeah. Ba Heter Du.
Then ask another person, Vahit Um Lori. Yeah, uh, and please correct our pronunciation because no, the pronunciation yeah, is what yeah, I think. No, it's fine. Vahit Rudu? Vahit Rudu? Yahit Rudu? Vahit Rudu? I don't know. Now you've got it. Turn across the aisle. Yeah. I mean, that's in the. It's right. So you don't pronounce the D at the end of Astrid. It's no. Astrid. Astrid. Yeah. That's what's so hard about Norwegian. Right. It's not yeah. spoken the way it's written. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you, you, you're right. There's some, some things that we have to get used to. Well, I don't know. Should we um should we start with uh, let's see what should we start with here? Um we can start with um well I I think I, I didn't copy everything. This is actually from the Sons of Norway. Uh, and I will um, make sure that all of you have um, ha have, a, um, have more information about it because that website is really good. It's, it, you know, and I didn't want to use table even though Eric said that he was to give it to us. But I, I, um, I think it was Kurt. Uh, that said we could run into a problem using somebody else's um, copy copy mm -hmm. somebody else's yeah. you know we could run into a problem so this is sons of norway everything here is we, we this is ours you know yeah Check your, sure. if you have ever looked at the sons of norway um, language lessons online yeah yeah. Looked. Yeah. Looked. Looked. <laughs> yeah. It's really well, raise your hand as you practice some of the things. No. Okay, so yeah. so we have a so after using printoffs from the one of their like 20 some lessons or more. Oh no, I only copied 14. No, yeah. Right. But yeah. there are a lot of lessons online. So yeah. 30. when we 30 some. So when we yeah. practice here, then you can go back online and if you haven't ever registered online that all you do is have to put your name and password in there yeah and then you can go to um it's under what is it under cultural something or other subheading and then there's recipe box etc and then you get down to language lessons and we can practice you can hear a verbal a verbal slow and then a speedier uh, session and I would admit that I've looked at it, but, <laughs> but I've never been disciplined enough to say, okay, every morning I'm going to do a five minute practice. Yeah. But maybe now I will with the help here. Just can I add to that? Yeah. Um, anyone who goes to the Sons of Norway website, yeah. even if you're not a member. Yeah. Oh, good point. And that is SOFN.com. I thought it was org and I couldn't find it on it for a while. <clears throat> and and you can see the written material, it's, this material it's is really online. Cool. But if if you're a member, you get the audio. Oh, it's logged in, so I didn't know that it was available. Yeah, you have to be a member to log in to hear the audio. I believe. Yeah. No. Yeah. I looked at it this morning, and it said to hear the audio, you go to member resources, and then it brought up another page. Uh -huh. 
Okay, well, sorry. Go ahead. Ed. No, no, it's it's fine. Um, I was just wondering, maybe we should all uh, be on the same page. Okay. So, like, um, we could start with um, we could start with um, let's see, um, uh, on this page here. Let me see. Let me find it for you. Okay. Start someplace easy. Yes. Yeah, start. <laughs> okay. okay, we can start right. So we can we can start right here. When meeting. Yeah. Okay. I should have put numbers on the pages. Yes. When meeting. Okay. When yeah, meeting. So for me, that's the first page after the laminated. Okay, so um, maybe uh, we could just go, go around the room and then you could, you could say, um, you could, um, we could start with, uh, uh, with, with you and then so you would say uh, when meeting people uh, you would say you, you could say good dog good dog good dog and, and which means hello and then why don't you do a couple of a couple of ones and then it, you know we'll just go around okay so you pronounce the g on dog it's not good day, it's good dog. Good dog. Yeah. Good dog. Good yeah. well. Yes. Morn. Yeah. Is that too hard on the R? No, it's perfect. Morn. Mm -hmm. And then here's the tricky one. Oh. Higgly would treff the day. That was good. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> yeah, that was very good. Not good. Good dog. Mm -hmm. Did you say that one after? Good dog. It's a little bit sing song. Yeah. Who go? Morn. Higgly old trick. Excellent. Yeah. That was good. Your turn. Uh, good dog. Good tail. Morn. Higgly at Chapter Dog. Good dog. Okay. So day or die or how do you say day, day. die? Okay. I like that they have it in some, uh, you know, so that the, the pronunciation. Yeah, but the, the way they have that spelled out there, I could see it being either way. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, good dog. Good show. Yeah. Born. And he can we be on class by day. Not. No. Not must mean good. Yeah. <laughs> That's a very tough, you know, softy spell. Good dog, good kid, and he got his leg old. You know what? He got the he got the sing song down. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious. You got the sing song down. And maybe you got the Norwegian. Yeah. <laughs> Grandparents. That's what it is. Huh? It's working. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, go ahead. Okay. The three times that. He, he does it too. Yeah, I'm serious. Our two men did at the same time. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Um, um, we'll, go, we'll, we'll just, is it okay if we go down a little bit more? Yeah. Okay. So the next one is small talk. Okay. So then it is 
Vurdan Hardude. Vurdan Hardude. So what are... Yeah, that's a, yeah, yeah, it's more. It's just the next one coming down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how do you do it? Very good, thank. What do you call yourself? I call myself Astrid. How old are you? I am. Oh, oh. Yeah, I am. Eighty-two years. And Jim, you can't see the words on the page. Yeah. So, how do you do that? How do you do that? And bara bra talk means fine, thank you. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Va is what's your name? Okay. Yai heter Elizabeth. Vor gamelardu is how old are you? Yai ar. How do I say 60? 60. Yai ar 60. <laughs> Thank you. You should be right on that page. Yeah, no, it, no, it isn't. Yeah. Oh, I was yeah, looking for yeah, yeah, higher yeah. numbers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think most of us in the room are older than We're Jack. looking for <laughs> higher numbers. Look at this next page. Uh, you know what? It was, it said, I, um, it's under, yeah, change that. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Right in here. I think it's there. No, it's not. The numbers are on this page. It's the next one over. So, how old are you? Would it be Sufi to Fem or Sufi Fem? Uh, yeah, it depends. They must have, you know, they, the thing is, they um they have changed it a little bit. So it used to be very complicated, but but now it, uh, they can also do them must have been. Oh, yeah. so like in German? Yes. But mm -hmm. there, there is no, like in on this page where they have 21 is, I don't know how you pronounce that. Sure. Q A N. Oh yeah, Q A N. Yeah, this is uh, the new new innovation. So mm -hmm. you should say A in between. So it'd be city A fam instead of city fam. No, that twenty is definitely A. Okay, okay. So it's not okay. Thanks. That was what I was asking. Okay. Trying to figure out the links between this and German. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> If you see one, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to get confused. I studied German in high school, but and I expected when I looked at the Norwegian in writing, which I'd never seen it in writing until we started this, I thought it would look a lot more like German, but it doesn't. It, I wondered what it, what language group is it considered to be part of? It is Germanic. It is Germanic. And yeah. it must be a cognate with Tyson. Well, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah. got to be yeah. a cognate with it. Yeah. So, anyway. Anyway. <laughs> you. <laughs> anyway, where are we? At the meeting. Okay. All right. Are done hard to do? Do it. Well, sorry. Do it. Are hard, hard than hard do do. Fabre brought up. What is Huston Thorditil? Say that again. Huston Thorditil? Wordan. Wordan Thorditil. Okay. Uh, um, uh, we're done started it. Um, we're done started it. Um, how, um, how are you doing? That, okay, because yeah. I thought that was when that yeah. Was the yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. How are you doing? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. that's the original one. I think that's the one. I, I, I don't know. No, it's, um, it's just, um, regional, maybe? I'm sorry, look. Like a regional thing? Regional the Norway to pronounce? I don't know. I would. That's just what my grandmother 
you know, the um, uh, Norwegian has changed since uh, uh, 15 years have passed away. Oh, yeah, right. yeah, and it's still changing. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. yeah. They so even curious. sometimes use English words. Okay. And yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah, and I've I've heard, I don't know if this is true, I've heard Tusentak was what our ancestors would have said, but in Norway today they don't say that. They say Mangatak. Yeah, or they just say Tak. Yeah. yeah. But Tusentak is yeah. sort of like a fossilized Norwegian oh, from when they emigrated. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Means many. Many. Yeah. <laughs> Tusen har ikke mange. Ja, mange. Oh, flows. What did you say? What did you Tusen har ikke mange. Tusen is a thousand is a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's good. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Uh, hold on, Um, but uh, are Could you just say them again so we can hear your, your Do you know what you want to say that one again? Just pronounce all of them. All of them again. So we can do a good job of mimicking your okay. pronunciation. Hvordan har du det? Da er det bra, takk. Hva heter du? Jeg heter Astrid. Hvor gammel er du? Jeg er veldig gammel. <laughs> Questions. Bara bra tak. Does bara means very and bra means good? Yes. So bara bra tak. Yeah. 
Yeah. And then what's the difference between Vordan and Vor? Because it's Vordan Hardude and Vor Gamu here too. Okay. Um, 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 vor, vor gamu lardu. Um, see, that's, that's, a, that's what I was trying to say is that some things aren't, um, it's hard to translate it exactly over, you know, because it, we would think it was, uh, 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 who is coming out here? How old are you? That one is straightforward. Is but what's the difference between vor and vordan? Uh, vordan is a is a question. Well, both of them are questions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Vor, 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 where do you live? Uh, and vordan hard. How how are you doing? When do you use one and when do you use the other? If you used it wrong, it's okay. Okay, so if I said Vorhardude, you wouldn't look at me like no, you are speaking no, no. a language I don't it understand. Would, it okay. would think, okay, she's American. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. She might as well say it in English. <laughs> Happy to be American. Vaher, Vahe, Ter, Yehe, Ter, Borgamo, Ardu, Yahe, Ar, Swepte, Ni. That's good. Uh oh. You're very youthful, 39. Well, no woman ever lives to be over 39. <laughs> Both and both hard do they? I right. I I can't do this. Bowery bar pop. I, I, I can't get this. <laughs> so yeah, his mother so, who had not who didn't learn Norwegian in the home because mm -hmm. it was interfering with her schooling. Yeah. Well, when when I became part of the family, she would be studying Norwegian and muttering the stuff in the kitchen. So just remember what that sounded like. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's uh, it's a I think yeah. that I've studied Spanish and German and French, and I think this is the hardest. Yeah. I think it's a really a, it, it, if you if you can learn to speak this, you've really done something. <laughs> you can catch yourself on the back. Yeah. Well, um, they actually now you know they're in, they really are. Um, Norway is you know we're even able to uh, get our citizenship back. And I'm thinking about doing it only it's expensive, you know. I think it's like five thousand dollars. Oh. Yeah, but I can get it back. And uh my kids can get it too, because I was born and raised in Norway. So there's Shell is really thinking about it. And would but I, um would that give you dual? What's we got? Yeah, you can be dual. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can be dual. Yeah, I'm not going to give up the American one because I really love America. I really do, you know. But of course, I still love Norway too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, can, so can that, go ahead. Uh, can I go back to grandparents? I think I heard yes, that yes. Uh -huh. I think the Irish are doing the same thing too. Yeah, yeah. But you do have to have some pretty good connection, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But, we... what, but the one thing about it, because uh, when um, <clears throat> when I was married to Shell Christian, that's my oldest son, his dad, um, Shell is my oldest son is born in Norway, because we decided that um, my parents said they had, um, they, um, they would help us uh, find a place to live. And so <clears throat> they invited us to come and um, and I, and Shell's dad, um, Hugh, he um, he uh, he had six months to learn to speak Norwegian, oh and then he had to get a job. 
otherwise and i remember i was expecting and i we had we had we were called in mm -hmm. and they asked him you know so and so how are you doing you know otherwise you got to go back you know and so he made it oh. yeah and he, he um, became a uh, chauffeur for a big <clears throat> cleaning company which was very nice because when Shell was born, we got all his diapers done. Oh. <laughs> that, was, you know, that, was, that was in 1965, you know, it was expensive to buy, mm -hmm. you know. So, yeah, that's very. What kind of a test did he have to do? Uh, he, um, he had to, he had to uh, go before a board, you know, yeah. To speak yeah. it or to yeah, do so writing I, to yeah. just speak mm -hmm. it? Yeah, and the main thing is that that he that he got the job, and you know, oh. in order to get a job, you you have to speak Norwegian. Yeah, and he never forgot it either, because um, when uh, I was married twice, so then we got a divorce, and then he married somebody else, and I married somebody else. So he has another son named Bjorn. So Shell has a brother, he has like half siblings, you know, oh. and Bjorn, um, he he even went to the university in in oslo for a whole year yeah did really good and um then um my, and like i said my um, eric and amy and angie they all you know they didn't go to school there but they they i could just they that that that's things have changed but it's still pretty good they they could go on the bus and they think you know by themselves they were fine yeah it's um I, that's one of the things I like about Michigan. It's to me, to me, Michigan is very Norwegian. Mm -hmm. It is. Mm -hmm. very, don't you think so? In yeah. 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 I think people are very nice and open and helpful. In California, you know, you got you're on your own. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So well, we've reached our one hour magic moment here, but I think we've had a really good start. Mm -hmm. And it was it was good, I think, to put us on the spot so we each it wasn't just a yeah. group saying like, and I want you to, I hope I hope you uh, I hope you just be patient with yourself and, and go through it. So even if you don't do it in exact order, that's okay. You can pick up a little bit here and there. Yeah. And because Astrid printed things off on the Sons of Norway site, you can go there yeah. and listen to the pronunciation again. Yeah, I, yeah. I was wondering about the copyright for that. Mm -hmm. I wasn't going to bring it. Thank up. you. I no. thought it probably stapled with yeah. now. I yeah. Gone. No, I'm so glad you mentioned that at the meeting, you know. So yeah. we've got the Sons of Norway site as our audio backup between the yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. in three weeks. Yeah. So thank you so much, Astrid. Oh, All right, Jim, I'm going to end the recording now. All thank right, you for thank joining you. us. Sure, thank you for doing it. You, if he, um, he's on an email list. Yeah. If he could oh, email the copy of the, of the written stuff, the written material. Actually, yes. Could you email? Who should he email? For that, you email me. Um, and so, Jim, are you still there? Yeah. If you send an email to Gail Hadley, and hold on a second, I've got her email address. Okay. How uh, the newsletter there? Yeah. Yes, she's at the top of the newsletter. Then Gail will send you by email the written materials that we're using. No, I won't, so I'll mail okay. it. Okay. He'll, he'll mail it. She'll mail it to you, so that you'll email. have a hard printout and you can follow along with us. Okay, and we sure. hope to see you on April 5th at 10.30, either by Zoom or here at the Marshall District Library. Thanks for joining us. That's p.m.? 10.30 in the morning, same time. 10.30, oh, okay. All right. All right, wonderful. You have a good day. Thanks, you too. Bye. Bye.